Good day everyone. Once more, welcome to TLE ICT Entrepreneurship Class. Again, this is Teacher Onins and I'm here to guide you. Our topic today is using online tools to gather data. And here are our objectives. Creates an online survey form and processes online survey data. An internet survey is a questionnaire hosted on a website. These surveys are designed to elicit responses on nearly any research topic and may be completed by anyone with internet access. Internet surveys are easy to complete, allowing respondents to quickly provide information crucial to your research needs. Are you familiar with these images? I'll give you five seconds to think. Very good! These images are related to audio and video conferencing. But before we move on to our topic, let us have first a review. We have studied in our previous lessons about audio and video conferencing. Audio conferencing, also called as teleconferencing, which means two or more people in different locations use technology like Conference Bridge to hold an audio call. While video conferencing, also called as teleconferencing or web conferencing, is an online meeting wherein two or more people can see, hear, and talk to each other using computer networks to send audio and video data in real time. Today, we will study on how we can use some online tools to gather data. But before that, there are words you need to familiarize to better understand our lesson. Can you guess these unfamiliar words? Arrange the given letters to identify the unfamiliar words. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's start! This refers to query in order to collect data for the analysis of some aspect of a group or area. The first word is survey. A printed or typed document with blank spaces for insertion of required or requested information. The next word is forms. This refers to position with a computer cursor over something such as an image or icon without selecting it. And the word is hover. This refers to factual information such as measurement or statistics used as a basis for reasoning, discussion, or calculation. And the word is data. The transmission of evaluative or corrective information about an action, event, or process to the original or controlling source. The word is feedback. Alright, remember these words so that it will be easier for you to fully understand our lesson for today. What is online survey? Online survey is an innovative, easier, and faster way to deliver surveys, collect results, and analyze results using online system. This tool is used to define questions and the possible answers using the internet. The link to these survey questions is sent to the participants who will answer the online survey. The following are steps on how to create a survey form using Google Forms. First, log into your Google account. 
click on the Forms web app icon. The Forms icon will appear when you add a new tab. Second, click One Click. The One Forms web app opens new browser tab that has blank form. Third, Accomplish Survey Setup. Write a title for your survey. Explain it in two sentences. There are three checkbox options displayed at the top of the survey form. Sign in to view the form. Users can add responses. And the respondent's username is automatically collected. Fourth, add and edit questions. There are six types of distinct questions in the Google Forms. You will be familiarized when you explore the use of Google Forms. For us to have a quick look on how to use and process Google Forms in different ways, including its advantages and disadvantages, let us watch it again from Teacher Jeff of DepEd TV. Watch and listen attentively for you to be able to answer the learning tasks. There are two ways in creating an online survey form that you can create from. One is the Google Drive, and another one is the Google Sheets. Here are the steps in creating an online survey form from Google Drive. Step 1. Go to drive.google.com. Google Drive provides 15 gigabytes of free Google storage to save any type of file in one place. Step 2. Click the Add button in the left. Step 3. Click New in the top left. Hover over More and choose Google Forms. Step 4. A welcome message will appear just like the next figure. Click Get Started. Step 5. A form template opens and there you can add any questions for your survey. Letter A. Start with the title of the survey. Click Untitled Form in the upper left corner and type the desired title. Letter B. Check the box labeled. Show progress bar at the bottom of form pages. If you like to see the progress bar, indicating how much of your form they've completed. Letter C. Type the question in question title text box. Letter D. Select the question type. Letter E. Click Done. Letter F. To add another question, click Add Item button. Now, here are the steps in creating an online survey form from Google Sheets. Step 1. Click New in the top left and choose Google Sheets in your drive. Step 2. Click Insert Menu and select Form. A message will display at the top of the page that a new form has been created. Step 3. Click Add Question here to begin editing your form. Tip. To get rid of this message, you can click Dismiss and continue editing your spreadsheets. Here are the steps in processing online survey data by using Google Form. Number 1. Create an account using Google. Click Create Account and then select For Myself. On the next page, you provide some information. First and last name username and password to create your account. You also have to verify your phone number so Google can make sure you are not a robot. Number 2. How to create a blank form. Type the name of your form, then type the description of your form. Type the questions. Click the drop-down menu next to the question field. Then, select the type of question you want from the list. Advantages of creating online survey Number 1. Faster. The time span needed to complete an online survey project is on average two-thirds shorter than that of traditional research methods. Number 2. Cheaper. Using online questionnaires reduces your research costs. You will save money on postage and you don't have to allocate time and resources to enter the information into a database. Number three, more accurate. 
the margin of error is greatly reduced with online surveys because participants enter their responses directly into the system. Traditional methods rely on the attentiveness of staff to enter all details correctly. And naturally, human error can creep in whenever a person has to perform a repetitive task. Number 4. Quick to analyze. The results of the online survey are ready to be analyzed at any time. Number 5. Easy to use for participants. Majority of the people that have access to internet prefer to answer surveys online instead of using their phones. Number 6. Easy to use for researchers. The main benefit of online surveys for researchers is that they increase productivity by saving time. Number 7. Easy to style. An online survey is an opportunity to imprint your brand in the user's mind and remind them of the benefits you provide. Number 8. More honest. It's overwhelmingly preferred to complete online surveys rather than take part in written questionnaires or telephone interviews and usually provide longer and more detailed answers. Number 9. More selective. With an online survey, you can pre-screen participants and allow only those who match your target profile to complete the survey. Number 10. More flexible. The order of the questions in an online survey can be changed or questions can be skipped altogether depending on the answer to a previous question. Disadvantages of creating online survey Number 1. Survey fraud. This is the biggest challenge. If your survey is long, and or confusing, you might get fake answers. Since there is less accountability, chances for people just hitting buttons to finish are high. Check the questions you use carefully. Number 2. Limited sampling and respondent availability. Certain populations are less likely to have internet access and to respond to online questionnaires. Number 3. Possible cooperation problems. Online surveys could be deleted and ignored. People hate feeling poked, and if they get annoyed, they just have to click delete. Number 4. No interviewer. Now let us answer the following questions. First, what are the two ways in creating online survey form? Second, what are the advantages and disadvantages in using online survey forms? Give at least two. You may do this in a separate paper. For your learning task 1, fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. The blank are utilized to determine the following feedback for the products and services, market research, customer feedback, and employee satisfaction. A. Technical problems may be encountered. B. Cheaper. C. Google account. D. Online survey tools. Very good! The correct answer is letter D. 2. Online survey is an blank, easier, and faster way to deliver surveys, collect results, and analyze results using online system. A. Innovative. B. Cheaper. C. Google account. D. Online survey tools. Great! Letter A is the correct answer. 3. Log in to your blank. Click on the Forms web app icon. The Forms icon will appear when you add a new tab. A. Innovative. B. Cheaper. C. Google account. D. Online survey tools. Very good! The correct answer is letter C. 4. Online survey is blank. There is no need for printing the questionnaires or to worry about the other expenses in collecting data. A. Innovative B. Cheaper C. Google account D. Online survey tools Great job! The correct answer is letter B. 5. Blank may be encountered. The server may crash, unstable internet connection, and technical variants in browsers and computers are just some technical issues that respondents and researchers may face using online surveys. 
A. Technical problems may be encountered. B. Cheaper. C. Google account. D. Online survey tools. Great. Letter A is the correct answer. For your assignment, answer learning task 2 to learning task 7 in your weekly home learning plan. Once more, great job DLE learners! Thank you! This is Teacher Onins and see you again next time.